I must really like you guys because I spent about an hour this morning listening to one of the most boring interviews that I have ever seen. I was looking for one particular clip in this interview. It took me forever to find it. I finally did, but I can't share it with you because the file is too big for the software that I use to pull videos from YouTube. I was not going to pay $200 to upgrade the software just to share you a 30 to 60 second clip of Chris Cuomo. Hey, it's me, Chrissy C. In hindsight, I'm actually doing you guys a favor. I am telling you, this interview was painful to watch. I don't know if I have ever watched a collection of more boring personalities all in one setting. About a week ago, Chris Cuomo gave a 90-minute interview with the No BS News Hour. KC, what the hell is that? Dude, I have no idea. It's hosted by some former media guy. I've already forgotten his name. The title of the video was Cuomo Unchained. For the better part of a year now, the purveyor of shirtless selfies has been claiming, I have moved on from CNN. Those days are far behind me. They're so far behind him that he spent the majority of this 90-minute interview whining about his former employer. I am guessing this YouTube channel thought that the cigar would be a big get for their channel. The interview was uploaded over a week ago. It's pulled in a massive 2,600 views. <laughs> what a fall from grace for Chris Cuomo. This dude went from drawing 2 million viewers every night on CNN to a YouTube channel that hasn't drawn 2 million views in over 8 months. I'll give him credit. Chris Cuomo is well connected. He is definitely dedicated to diversity, equity, and inclusion. He has a diverse set of interviews with a variety of different heavy hitters in media. Charles Barkley, Dave Ramsey, Dr. Phil. Problem is, no one is watching. This dude can't attract a horny Shay Shay to the nearest Butt Bongo Festival. The interview Chrissy C. uploaded yesterday with Dr. Phil, 5,500 views. If I get 5,500 views on a video, I'm disappointed. And I'm a nobody. I'm just some dumbass with a camera and a microphone. I don't have friends in the mainstream media. I'm not connected to A-listers. I don't understand. How a guy who rows shit fucks for a living draws a substantially larger audience than a Cuomo. The only reason I can think of is authenticity. Chris Cuomo is one of the most inauthentic people in the media. All last year, all I heard about is the new and improved Chris Cuomo. I'm a free agent. Come see me, baby. Give me some money. In return, I'll deliver dozens of viewers to your platform. Another problem for Chris Cuomo, he always plays the role of the victim. During this interview with whatever the fuck, he was whining about how he was treated at CNN. I was not allowed to say goodbye to my lovers. They escorted me out of the building without giving the lemon one last squeeze. I was not allowed to collect my personal belongings. My vibrating cigar was never returned to me. I'll never be what I was. Oh, I'll never be what I was. The emotional trauma, it's changed me as a male birthing person. I was number one on the most powerful media platform in the world. Throughout the interview, Chris Cuomo would complain about CNN, then come to the defense of CNN. It was classic woke doublespeak, another shit fuck talking out of both sides of his ass. This dude claimed that CNN was not a far left news organization. Uh, that's like saying Joy Reid's not a racist or Jamel Hill has a chance to win a beauty pageant. Well, KC, Jamel Hill's actually a two-time winner of the woke beauty pageant. Yeah, so is Rachel Levine. This entire interview was a 52-year-old man whining about his place in the media. He was essentially blaming CNN for his downfall. <laughs> I hate to break it to Chris Cuomo. Even if he wasn't fired by CNN, his downfall was inevitable. You can only skate by with illusions for so long. 
Chris Cuomo's meteoric rise in the mainstream media happened because of a common enemy, Donald Trump. You remove Donald Trump from the equation, the Cuomo now has to rely on himself to draw an audience. When you have the charisma of someone like Bamani Jones, that is an impossible task. Last summer, News Nation agreed to pay the Pilar of cigars a million dollars a year to save their struggling network. Now, if you have a network named News Nation, you'd figure the channel was dedicated to news, right? Back when this network drew respectable ratings, it was called WGN. Growing up, I used to watch all the Cubs games on WGN. A couple years ago, they overhauled the network, entered the cable news industry under the name News Nation. We cover the nation's news while no one in the nation pays attention to us. Now, what's the number one show on a network dedicated to news? Reruns of Blue Bloods, a show that airs on CBS. Now, how can this be? I don't see Fox News airing reruns of Married with Children. I don't see MSNBC airing reruns of Law and Order. Of course, those networks actually draw ratings. The reruns of Blue Bloods, it is the only thing keeping News Nation afloat. When I looked up the daily lineup for the network, it became abundantly clear why they're not drawing ratings. News Nation employs heavy hitters like Leland Vittert. KC, who in the hell is Leland Vittert? For all I know, he's formerly a young woman named Leela who woke up one morning deciding to be Leland. They also have Marnie, the brother or sister of Barney. News Nation also employs something called Banfield. Okay. For a year, the cornerstone program on the network, the franchise, was Dan Abrams. I don't have a problem with Dan Abrams. He started Mediaite, a site I use on a daily basis to find topics for the channel. He hosted Live PD on A&E, a show that aired live footage from around the country of police arresting woke shit fucks for defecating on the playground. Now, of course, after the death of George Floyd, A&E immediately canceled the show. You know, because cops are no bueno. We are canceling Live PD. We don't want to trigger emotions of criminals by airing footage of their colleagues being arrested for committing crimes. In place of Live PD, we will now air live footage from Woke United Methodist. Like I said, I don't have a problem with Dan Abrams, but he's not entertaining. In cable news, your host has to be entertaining, charismatic, relatable. Dan Abrams... None of those things. But that was okay. That was okay. Because News Nation had a solution. Hey, it's me, Chrissy C. I'll come work for free. Just put me back on TV. The battered free agent was desperate to get back on television. He spent the entire summer begging for someone to hire him. He even applied to the Black News Network. They informed Chris that he didn't meet their racial standards. They hired Mark Lamont Hill instead, and the network eventually folded. I guess America wasn't all that interested in 24-hour racial news. News Nation brought on Chris Cuomo, trumpeting him as the savior of the network. They spent thousands of dollars promoting his debut in October. Chrissy uploaded shirtless selfies to social media, hoping to entice lonely men to watch his new show. Hey there, lonely men, watch me on News Nation and maybe I'll remove my pants. Yeah, no thanks, Chris. I would rather watch a rotten lemon than a pantless Cuomo. Apparently, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Cuomo's ratings are absolutely pathetic. His heavily promoted debut in October, 147,000 viewers. The Monday before the midterm elections in November, huge night for cable news. Chrissy C. drew 93,000. In four months, he has eclipsed 200,000 viewers three times. He's been below 100,000 eight times. On average, Chris Cuomo is drawing around 150,000 viewers a night. He's not even the top news show on his own network. This dude went from having the number one show in cable news to barely making the top 500 on cable. Chris Cuomo, he is the 477th most popular show on TV. <laughs> Is that all it takes to make a million dollars in this country? I have no aspirations to be in cable news. Hell, I have no aspirations to be on television, period. But News Nation, 
if you're handing out free money, give me a million dollars a year. I promise you, I promise you, I would draw a larger audience than Chris Cuomo. While I was watching that interview this morning, I almost started feeling bad for Chris Cuomo. Even though I think he's insufferable, I don't have anything against the guy. He's far from being detestable like Joy Reid or Keith Olbermann. I never thought Chris Cuomo was a shit fuck. I just thought he played one on television. But this dude is a classic case of pride coming before the fall. In normal times, it's hard to figure people out, but the true colors come out in times of despair or in times of great success. In the last few years, Chris Cuomo has endured both and the real man has been exposed. When he was on top of the cable news industry, he was this brash, arrogant asshole. He had this holier-than-thou attitude. Now that he's at the bottom of the business, he's playing the role of the victim, whining and complaining about being fired from CNN, bitching that all of his friends in the media turned their back on him. Chris Cuomo claims the guy no one is watching on News Nation every night is the real Chris Cuomo. And you know what? That's probably true. I scoured his Twitter feed looking for an interesting clip of the real Chris Cuomo to share with you guys. I couldn't find one. The real Chris Cuomo is boring and unentertaining. The problem from him, though, it should not have taken 52 years to reveal the real Chris Cuomo. He was inauthentic for so long, no one believes him. News Nation is available in 82 million homes in America. For a million dollars a year, Chris Cuomo is drawing 0.1% of that audience. That is not sustainable. But give me your thoughts. Four months in, and Chris Cuomo is nominating himself for the Heff Awards. This show is a huge embarrassing failure. Now, why do you think that's the case? Is it because he's on News Nation? I don't buy that excuse. Is it because the real Chris Cuomo is boring and unentertaining? Give me your reason. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.